Hi everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Cat. How you all doing today? I hope you are fantastic. As you can see, we're going to work in the, um, what do you call them? Junk mail envelope journals or just envelope journals. I mean, they don't have to be junk mail. It's just a good way to use junk mail. Um, I made another one, so now I have two. So I'm going to do two of these together or attempt to, you know, I am not very great at that. So, um, but I got Joey Card Makers Autumn Folk Kit and they're so cute. I love um, folk art. And so when I saw this, I was just like, oh my gosh, yes. So um, I'm going to use that for one. And then the other one is going to be my spooky watercolor digital download. The one with the, like this is the witch and... And there's all kinds of other goodies, but anyhow, you will see as we go through it. Today, I'm going to do the covers, and this one I did put this little owl pocket in there that um, is from Joey's kit. So, like, this folds all the way out. I just have it paper clipped. I may glue it, but just an example of, you know, how you can do things. So, like I said, we're going to start with covers because that's obviously a good place to start. I want to say hugs and blessings to Sherry, Donna A, June, and Luann. Love you guys, and I thank you so much for all your um, kind comments and just, you know, support in general. Love it, and I thank you. I want to also welcome any new subscribers and say welcome back to all following uh, subscribers, people that have been following me for a while. So I thank you guys, and a super big um, thanks a super thanks for Kathy and um, I feel like I'm forgetting somebody that I wrote them all down Sandy Kathy and Sandy and um, the Helms thank you thank you guys wonderful and kind and generous I really appreciate it and um, as mentioned I would not be able to do this if I didn't have your guys' support it is very difficult to make it as an artist, which I'm sure some of you know. <laughs> so anyways, um, we're going to start. I think I'll start with the Joey Cardmaker. And if you don't know uh, about Joey Cardmaker, there will be a link in the description box below to his um, YouTube channel and Etsy so that you can go over and check out the whole autumn kit. I don't I mean, I printed most of it out, but... Um, it's kind of all stacked up with all, all my other stuff. So, but um, this squirrel is from there. And then these bits, these are my, um, what do you call it? Fall fodder digital download. That's the download. And then this is from my pumpkins that I cut on the Glowforge. And all I did was ink it up a whole bunch with the Tim Holtz uh, Distress Oxide in Walnut. And I even dipped kind of the side of the sponge in and did, that's how I got the lines, just by holding it, you know, so you're just getting that edge there. And then I took this um, Distress Oxide Spray, peeled paint, and unscrewed the lid and just put a drop of the um, Distress Oxide ink right on that stem. And it just sort of bled out and you can see it went down on there and I love that effect. So that is what we have for that. And this is just a piece of that green uh, packing um, paper or painter's paper, masking paper. Uh, I believe I got this at Lowe's and it started to change color because let me see if I can find a green piece. Um, you can see it's a little more green because I have it sitting over there in the window where I pack stuff. And so it's gotten a lot lighter in spots, so I don't know, it's just kind of cool. So I crinkled that all up, you just go like that, you know, get the size you want, and we're going to use that as a layering piece. So we've got some little bits and pieces that we're going to use. This doesn't quite go all the way down to the bottom because I ripped it wrong. And this is from my um, Watercolor Forest digital download. So I'm going to put this little piece, and this is from um, Joy Cardmaker. It's one of the uh, corner pockets, but I just tore it because I wanted those leaves. So I can print it again and again and again. That's the awesome part about digital downloads. So yeah, hope you guys are fantastic. I had an insane weekend. For me, it's Monday. For you, it will be Tuesday. But um, oh my word. <laughs> we took my son up to school and about an hour outside of where he goes to school, his car broke down. <laughs> 
luckily we were at a gas station. We had just pulled into the gas station. He tried to put it in park and it has one of those steering wheel shifters, you know, and um, it just like came out in his hand. Like the whole, the whole little shifter doo-wah just came right out in his hand. <sighs> so we had to um, call a tow truck. My husband stayed there. My son and I went and emptied our car you know, an hour away. My husband stayed at the gas station and uh, got the tow truck. The tow truck brought, brought my husband and obviously my son's car to where my son goes to school. And so then we went and unloaded all the stuff from his car and put it in my car and took it to his apartment. It was just quite the ordeal, I have to say. But it all worked out fine and that is the important part is that he's up there he's at school probably right now i think i'm not sure what time it is honestly running around this morning trying to get things done so anyway but yes it was an adventure because um we tend to do that when we go on trips is have super adventures i'm trying to figure out one side's a little bit shiny i think it's this side yeah we can't ever just like easily go on a trip and all that so anyway he has no car until they get that fixed and then my daughter called last night we had taken her car to um, have some work done on it uh, while she was at band camp and they had finished it and um, I went over and picked it up and then the next morning when I was gonna take it down to her it wouldn't start so we thought oh man like a light must have got left on you know because they had been working on it and all that so uh, we jumped it and it started and all that. So I drove it down to her place and left it. And then she just didn't drive it all week because she was doing band camp. And then she got in it yesterday and called us and was like, it won't start. <laughs> and she couldn't, they couldn't even jump it. It wouldn't even jump. So we're going to have to have that towed today to the place that did the work on it previously because I think something got disconnected or I have no idea, but we'll find out. But it's like, oh, please, these kids have got to go to school. <laughs> like, ah, plus, you know, towing and all that is so freaking expensive. We do have, somehow, there's insurance on her car for towing. I don't know what happened, like, if some box didn't get checked when we did our son's, but anyways. He didn't have it, of course, because he has had to be towed an hour. So, you know, of course, we didn't have insurance for that. I don't know. It's just always something. I'm telling you, money just... <sighs> flows right on out of here. But I know that's very true with anybody that has kids. So I understand that for sure. And, you know, just can't afford new cars right now for them. And they can't, you know, either because they're going to school. So it's kind of like you end up driving not brand new cars, that's for sure. And, uh, yeah, I think the bug is fine. I think, like I said, I think something didn't get attached properly or something. So I'm thinking something like that might work. I also cut some other things out. Hold on just a second. I am back. Sorry about that. You know, I always think I have everything and I never, ever, ever do. But anyway, so we're going to put the little squirrel picture here. And then I'm going to punch a hole in this. I'm going to put a little piece of book page up here, I think, too. Just so, just for some, um, I don't know, more. <laughs> just more, okay? <laughs> <clears throat> so yeah it's been um it was quite the weekend to say the least but we will muddle through somehow as we do I just it's like I told my husband I said you know they were both around all summer why couldn't the car problems have been when they could just it wouldn't be a big deal for the car not to be there, whatever, you know, it just would have been, uh, instead of being so 
crazy right now because they're just trying to start school, you know? I think I'm going to have to back this because I just printed it on um, copy dyed. Copy dyed. <gasps> copy paper. <laughs> Yeesh. That way it'll just have a little bit of strength because we're going to put it on with a little brad. So yeah, anyhow, this is what I decided to do with these. I think it'll be fun because I know not everybody likes Halloween. And so one will be autumn-y and one will be Halloween-y. And that way you'll get to see two <coughs> different styles. Sorry. <coughs> Hold on a second. I have been absolutely croaking ever since we went on that trip because we've got a lot of fires. Well, there's a lot of fires everywhere. Um, and nothing like the people in Hawaii. Oh my goodness. Blessings and prayers to you and the people in California who are getting hit by the hurricane. We're actually getting hit by part of it too. <clears throat> All the way up here in Idaho. We're just getting rain. But it's kind of crazy this time of year for us to get that much rain. So, But it's good because it's going to put out some of those fires that I was speaking of. Because, man, <clears throat> up where my sun is yesterday morning when we got up, it was pretty bad with the smoke. But, yeah. So, the rain is actually a blessing. I just hope it gets all the way up to some of those fires. <clears throat> Probably should have had it attached to that, but I didn't, so we're gonna kind of want to use just my pokey tool, but I did just do this. We're gonna put it right through the picture and then we'll glue the picture down. And again, these little eyelets, I apologize because I know they're great. They're great colors, everything, but I don't even know if you can get them anymore. I've had them for probably close to 20 years so when I was doing scrapbooking we used to use these all the time Let's see if I can get it separated here and they're great because they're just tiny so they don't um, you know have the great big clips or spread out whatever that part is called I would say clips <clears throat> So we'll put that there. I think I'm going to put this little piece of book page down here. So we've got some continuity happening under there. But it was it was good. He's <clears throat> got a good apartment, his own bathroom, <laughs> which was uh, a big thing. He was very pleased about because last year that was very interesting. All five boys in one bathroom. He was like, "That I can't do that again." I'm like, "Yeah, I get it." So he was super excited about that. <clears throat> Good size room, bigger than what his dorm was. <clears throat> I mean, they practically live in those rooms, even though there's common areas. You know, when you're living with people, you don't know or whatever. It's nice to. He's got one of his friends is living there, but it's just nice to have your own space where you can go and study or whatever and nobody bugging you. Oh my God, there it is. Art glitter glue under here to hold my little tag in place. But he's totally jazzed to go back. You know, I'm a big fat mess because they're both back at school and don't see him <clears throat> a whole lot but he's totally excited so I'm excited for him it's just hard love having him around for sure both of them <clears throat> my daughter starts back today too I don't know if I said that but yeah it's her senior year which is insane like, how, how did that happen already? Four years gone. It's weird because her first year was COVID um, year, her first year at college. And um, so 
that doesn't even really feel like it was a year <laughs> because she was home all the time, you know, doing online classes. I mean, I'm sure she feels like she did it, but this is uh, one, a little uh, fussy cut from Joey's kit, this little sunflower. So I'm just popping it back there. I think that's cute. Maybe I'll put this one down here. I don't know. Do I need another one of those? Maybe I don't. It's always hard to figure out how to place everything. Yeah, maybe something like that. <clears throat> I love that squirrel. It just reminds me of the squirrels we have in the yard. I've already inked these. I was at least a little thinking in advance there. So that's inked. Yeah, that paper from my uh, watercolor forest digital, this background worked perfect. And I'm using it on the Halloween one as well because it just was a good color for both covers. Goes good with the uh, color of those envelopes as well. So That's a win. I mean, you can cover the envelopes entirely if you don't want to, um, you know, have any of them showing or whatever, but it's a little more straight. So yeah, that is helpful. It's really hard when you have like an envelope or whatever it is you're covering, a book cover that you totally don't like the color of at all, or it just doesn't go. <clears throat> um, that can make it very tricky. I'm gonna actually kind of tuck that like that. Just gonna scoot in a little bit more to fit. Pumpkin. I really like how this pumpkin came out for just being plain orange paper. It was great. Yeah, I just put that drop right on there and just let it set and didn't touch it. And it just um, oxidized. And I had inked the whole thing first with the uh, uh, walnut stain. So that's, I think, where that color came from. But either way, it's very cool and I like it. Alrighty. There's that cover. Oh, it's nice and flat, so it's not poking out anywhere, which is helpful. <clears throat> we'll need that again. So I'll show you this, and then I'm going to move it off to the side, and we're going to bring on the Halloween one. <clears throat> and I haven't put anything in this one yet. It's just as it was when we made it. And for this one, we're using all kinds of stuffs. Uh oh, sorry, got little stars that are escaping me. Okay, <clears throat> I don't think I need that. So I'm using the witch from um, the spooky watercolor, and then, like I said, that's that same paper, but I'm going to flip it the other way and have the green on top and the orange on the bottom this time. I did not ink these. I inked those other ones, but <clears throat> could not decide what paper to use. And then I got looking at it and I'm like, this really goes well together. So if you have the watercolor forest and the watercolor, um, spooky watercolor, then you can use it. I mean, you don't have to use on the cover or whatever. Use it wherever you want. They go well together. <clears throat> and Joey does have some um, background papers in his kit as well. I just wanted a one with no print on it. So. But he's got some that are nice and light with leaves and stuff so that you can write on them. <clears throat> I just felt like that witch needed a front and center spot. <laughs> it's 
Great image. There's that. And I have some help tissue that I need to wrinkle up a little bit. I don't know why everything needs to be wrinkled up, but I feel like it does. Put that about there. <clears throat> and then I have black tissue. Put that there. And I will be scrunching and doing all that. And then I have these are my die cuts. I um, can't remember what I called Spooky Witches, I think, or something like that. Die cuts. Let me trim that a little more. And uh, I just have some yellow. It was from this same. I don't know. That's. Hmm. I think it's in the same kit. Those the watercolor forest. It's hard to remember because I've done a few watercolor kits this summer. I'm really enjoying the watercolor kits a lot. <clears throat> and I don't draw these images. I get these images from, it's called Dream. And we pay, we pay for use of that. So that's how I get those. I do, I have drawn a lot of my digital images in the past. It's nice sometimes to find other images to use. <clears throat> so this will just make these stars look, you know, yellow. I was glad to hear the hurricane didn't I know they got a lot of rain, but at least it didn't tear up uh, California, so that was good. <clears throat> but they, I know they're worried about a lot of the hillsides things. And then I have um, a pumpkin, which is in that same kit. So we're going to put a little glue in. And of course, you could just put these right on the paper, especially with this orange, but I just wanted to have a different color coming through. Like, there's a candle in there. <clears throat> Maybe I did that upside down. And now I got glue on the mouth. <laughs> Always got to mix it up somehow, right? It wouldn't be one of my videos if I did them all correctly. Okay. And then I also have the tree out of that same die cut set. And this one is in my spooky accessories, I think it's called. It has the witch hats, cats, and bats. <laughs> I know, I'm a, I'm a loony bird. But anyway, that's what's in that one. That's the shiny side. We're going to put that down. That's just regular tissue paper, black tissue paper. Nothing fancy. These long, I've said it before, like doing long tags and long, they're hard because <laughs> it's just long and skinny, you know? It's hard to get everything placed in a way that looks right, I feel like. Do you guys struggle at all with that? I'm going to put it this one kind of like so, I think. She'll go like this. Maybe we'll come down just a little bit more. <clears throat> Tim Holtz tissue, but you could do other tissue papers. Oh, it's going to come down more, huh? Oh, I just ripped it. Darn it. Okay. 
I like using tissue because you can get it so nice and flat. And it, but still has got a little texture, which is nice. Oh, I was speaking of texture. It's a little bit too, too white. Orange it up. Her, I'm going to use Hocus Pocus right here. What did I do with the little Brad? Oh, Lordy knows. <clears throat> Grab another one because I don't know what I did. Oh, I could use that green one. I think that's what I'll do. I was going to use this metal one, but I think I'll use green. These are, I have a kit, um, Spooky Stamps, that has these little tags and things in it with sayings on them. Get these paper stuck in there. Those are so tiny. <laughs> I probably should have put it through the corner, but I'm just going to glue it. I think it'll be fine. And you don't have to do that because obviously it's not even holding to anything, but I just, I like it. I'll put the tree here. And the pumpkin here. And we'll put the moon and the stars and the bat on. Sorry, my squeaky belt. Because I lean, I lean against my desk and <clears throat> focus, focus. I like this tree. I drew this one out. I was worried it wasn't going to come, you know, cut very well because sometimes if you have thin bits, they uh, don't cut out very well. But this one worked pretty good. I tried to do them a little bit thicker than maybe I normally would. It's always interesting when you're cutting a stencil or a die cut, it doesn't always work. You have to play around with it. Um, like I'll get them all drawn and in Procreate and then I have to turn them into an SVG, which is a, it's a whole thing. But anyway, and send them over to my Glowforge and then you cut it and it doesn't cut right. So you have to go back <laughs> and fix whatever it is in Procreate, make it into an SVG, send it back to the Glowforge, which is like this whole process so it's, it behooves one to get it done right the first time <laughs> but it doesn't generally work that way unfortunately nothing ever is fast that's for sure even when I want it to be okay and our pumpkin He's kind of a, a spooky looking pumpkin, but that's okay. Try to get him sort of straight here. I just gotta get glue where I don't want it, I'm telling you. It's like the rule. Tiny stars. I'll get all the little 
I don't know, we'll just place them around here and there. And these, um, <clears throat> when I cut these on the Glowforge, these little stars are left on the grate. And whichever ones don't fall through the grate, like I explained before, um, I will put in the bag. I don't count these as, uh, the, as part of the number of die cuts you get. Because, I, like I said, I don't ever know if they're going to actually be there. <laughs> they usually are. But some the little, I have a few littler moons, and sometimes they fall through the grate. The stars. So, but whatever I can catch, I will put in your bag if you buy, you know, if you order the die cuts. They get away from me sometimes, though. Let's see, do we want any of these? These are those Tim Holtz little, his little Halloween die cuts. I want any of that. Or I could do a saying. I do like just the hocus pocus, but mm, I don't think I want one of those. I think I might put a little bit of kind of ground or whatever you want to call it down here. This is my Stabilo All pencil. And these are water soluble pencils. Much like um, watercolor pencils. If you've got good watercolor pencils, it probably work just the same. I need a water pen. And then when you add water to it, it spreads around just like a watercolor pencil. And it's going to get a little bit of other color because of the um, background paper is colored. You know, it's just printed on a printer, so it can come off too, or go into this color. But it looks kind of cool because it looks eerie greenish. Okay, so I think our covers are done. I may, who knows, add bits and bobs because that's what I do, but... So far we have Joy Card Makers, Autumn Folk, yes, Autumn Folk, and then my watercolor, or spooky watercolor, I don't know why I keep wanting to say watercolor first, but anyway, there they are, all ready to go, and we'll keep, we'll keep on decorating in those, um, <clears throat> just gonna say, if you don't see me this week, more, <laughs> it's probably because of some car issue and that I have to deal with so but I will try to be here and then like I said um on Friday we're also having our counters done so all I can say is I'll come as much as I can but please uh bear with me and then hopefully next week we'll be back to some sort of normalness hopefully fingers crossed so pray for me <laughs> I pray for all of you especially the people in Hawaii and um in California where the hurricane was. So just everybody stay safe. Love you guys. And I will chat with you again soon. Bye now.